sticking with the weather this morning, we're taking a closer look at static shocks. Have you ever noticed that you experience more in the winter than in the summer? Meteorologist Taylor Stephenson explains the science behind winter static in this week's episode of WeatherWorks. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson here to explain to you how your weather works. Don't you get annoyed when you want to pet or cuddle your dog or cat in the winter and they shock you? How disrespectful, right? But don't blame your pet for those small bolts of electricity. Blame the winter air. We as humans are full of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Negatively charged electrons get rubbed off when we put on our clothes or slide across the carpet. Once we lose those electrons, we gain a positive charge from the leftover protons and neutrons. Then we basically become a magnet when we touch negatively charged objects or animals and we feel this electric shock. This bolt of energy is more likely to happen in the winter because the air is cold. Cold air can't hold as much water as warm air. Without the water vapor, the electrons in the object can't escape as easily, so the electrons get bottled up waiting to release their energy. If you're tired of the constant shocks around your house, buy a humidifier. The added water vapor will help release those fired up electrons. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson, and that's how your weather works. I was literally just telling Caitlin before that aired that Colby's been shocking me so much more than usual. It's gonna get an air humidifier. All right, thanks, Taylor. If you have any questions on weather phenomena and how they work, be sure to email us at news at 13wmaz.com. Your question just might be the next weather works topic. We're back with your top stories and more weather on the other side of the break.